Hey guys, Joe Kulas here once again for K-Tactical. So, uh, I'm going to be showing kind of how this works a little bit and kind of going over the pros and cons of it. But we got a Mako uh, AR-15 to AK-47 stock adapter. Now, right off the bat, it ha again, it has a couple advantages, a couple disadvantages. And one of the main disadvantages is obviously... The price on this is not that good. It, they really vary on price, but normally around 20 to 25 bucks. Now, a couple of advantages about that is, for one, how it mounts, uh, you still have to use your Tang, which, so you're not doing any permanent modifications to your rifle at all. And this just slides in, and then this mounts kind of with it to kind of mount with the buffer tube and gives it a little bit of st stability somehow. Uh, it's kind of iffy, hard to explain until you actually mount it. So I'm going to put this piece off to the side for now. But so you put this in there. Now for one, it doesn't come with a buffer tube or anything. All it just comes in this little package with some yeah, basic instructions and whatnot and two screws. Now it's made for stand receivers. And I don't know if it really works with milled because I've been able to try it. I actually used one of these at one time. And I used a UBR stock on it. Uh, so now with that, you have... An advantage because you can mount different buffer tubes on here and you can mount different stocks that don't use regular buffer tubes like uh, for your regular just like the standard M4 stock like in the CTRs and whatnot you can mount irregular stocks on there as well so that's one of the big pluses about this now let's talk into that a little bit more uh, it says it gives a proper cheek weld or correct cheek weld that's always kind of iffy to the user. Some people yes, some people no. And as well, something like the Tapco T6 stock, you can get those for around 35, 40 bucks. They come with the buffer tube, they come with the stock, they come with, you know, everything you need for just a little bit more. For the price of a buffer tube, you have everything. You have the stock too. And a stock it as well can be pretty expensive. Uh, and as well, those kind of use, they use your tank too, so they're not a permanent modification. Now, Again, kind of an advantage about this is that you have the ability to use other stocks. And that's its only real advantage. Uh, mounting wise, it doesn't really have any more secure of an option. Uh, so it doesn't really matter for that. Uh, and again, if you're looking at the reason why I originally bought it, this is an additional one. Again, I buy a lot of random additional stuff. It, the cuts weren't in it for the Tang yet, but if you're looking at putting like a UBR or M93B or something that doesn't use a standard, uh, you know, buffer tube, this is what you want to go with. It's going to be more expensive, but this is what you want to go with. It still uses the same threads as an AR-15 in the rear receiver, but besides that, it's more expensive and it's only meant for basically specific options which is its downfall now again T6 is the easiest way to go on that so don't get me wrong it's way cheaper more reasonable but now something that I'm gonna kinda of show in retrospective with this is I have an ace conversion block on this uh, AK-47 now with that basically what I did is I cut off the rear tang you insert this block, goes into the side, you have some extra support there. And what I'm able to do is, uh, this Tromex stock, if I wanted to, I could just mount this stock, because of uh, how it mounts in the rear, it has the two screws, I could mount that stock directly to this. I was able to put a folding mechanism on, which allows me to fold it to the left or to the right. That is correct. Some people think it's only meant to go to the left, but you can mount it uh, adjustable lengthwise, so you can mount it to the right to go under the bolt carrier. Uh, as well, with their accessories, Ace also sells AR-15 stock adapters and other such things. So again, uh, those are reasons why it's, to me, very cool. Uh, this was a much, much more expensive way to mounting. You buy a very specific stock, since, you know, obviously, if, unless I want to go with an AR stock adapter, buy an AR stock adapter. But as well, cool thing about that, you can still buy the side folding mechanism to use with that AR-15 stock. So you have a lot of cool options. Uh, and again, that's basically what you're not getting with this. 
you're going with some very basic things and as well you're probably not going to be swapping out stocks like me to begin with but it's for a very specific for a very you know reason that's the only reason you're going to be buying it so kind of keep that in mind uh, I think that's really all there is to go into this review for the Mako uh, Air 15 to AK-47 stock adapter. And again, it's a pretty cool product, but if you're looking just to go with a, you know, like a standard Air 15 stock, I would take a look at the Tapco T6. So, I really don't not, I don't not suggest this, I'm just saying if you're looking for a standard stock, it's definitely not the way to go. So, unless you maybe get a ridiculous deal on it. Uh, so hopefully that helps anyone that's interested in this product out. But uh, otherwise, besides that, uh, feel free to subscribe, comment, like this video, all that other fun stuff. And uh, have a nice day. And if you're interested in other 8K videos, uh, feel free to check mine out. Once again, though, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.